Welcome to the Manzanar Curators Corner for the 2021 Tadaima Virtual Pilgrimage. I am Sarah Bone, a park ranger at Manzanar National Historic Site. I am also a collateral duty museum assistant. In the National Park Service, one of the ways we preserve America's stories is to preserve the items that represent them. We are grateful that many people have chosen to donate their family items to the NPS to safeguard the past and educate present and future generations. One of the most common themes of the Japanese American incarceration is the loss of pieces of the family story. We see this through the physical loss of items of personal and monetary value and through the frequent silences of past generations. In 2007, Miyoko Morimoto Mizuki donated a number of pieces of Manzanar artwork by her father, Charles Isamu Morimoto. Charles Isamu's story and his passion for his art can help bridge some of the gaps the incarceration created in the Morimoto family story. Also in 2007, Miyoko Morimoto Mizuki, her husband, John Mizuki, and her sister Keiko Elcano narrated an oral history with Manzanar National Historic Site. In it, they shared some of their family stories and discussed the thread of their father's art through their lives. Isamu Morimoto was born in 1903 in Hiroshima Prefecture. His father immigrated to Long Beach and called for his wife and son in 1916. Isamu graduated from high school in Pasadena entered an art contest and won a scholarship to Otis Art Institute, which he attended from 1925 to 1930. He also studied under modernist artist Stanton McDonald Wright at the Art Students League in Los Angeles. His artwork was extremely well received in both exhibits and art competitions, which he frequently won. In 1931, Osamu left with his parents for Japan. His parents had done well enough economically in Long Beach to return successfully to Japan. Osama went with them in order to find a wife. After the Immigration Act of 1924, the vast majority of people were not allowed to immigrate to the U.S. from Japan, so Osama was in search of someone with U.S. citizenship. Shezue Doi was born in 1914 in Penryn, California. He went, she went to Japan with her family as a child and lived with her grandmother in Hiroshima when her parents returned to California. Shezue graduated from high school in Hiroshima and married Isamu in a Christian ceremony. Isamu and Shezue moved to a residential hotel in Little Tokyo. He was not able to make a living with his art and with Miyoko's birth in 1932, his family was growing. So he found a job with the Owl Drug Company creating windows displays. He was able to use his creativity and he continued to pursue his art on the side. Miyoko and Keiko remember their mother telling them that art was no way to make a living. The Morimoto family struggled to get ahead during the depression. In 1941, things began to look up. In the fall, the family of three moved to Hollywood and Keiko was born. Miyoko remembers that their new house had two bedrooms and they began to purchase appliances. Also in the fall of 1941, they met Reverend Alan Hunter of the Hollywood Congregational Church and they joined the congregation. But in December, everything they had worked for, everything they had dreamed of was whipped away. Miyoko remembers her father burning papers and breaking Japanese records after the Japanese military attacked Pearl Harbor. Osamu never told his family why, but he decided to, quote, volunteer to go to Manzanar in March 1942. These so-called volunteers were asked to come early to Manzanar in the hopes of assisting with the building of the facility and improving living conditions for when their families arrived. Many describe their experience as being one of difficulty and frustration. With the support of the Hollywood Congregational Church in preparing for their exit, including offering to store some important items they couldn't take with them, Shezue and her daughters joined Asamu in Manzanar in early April. As Miyoko settled into school at Manzanar and Shezue started work at the Manzanar Hospital, Isamu dove into his art. 
Miyoko and Keiko remember their mother saying that this time was good for their father because he could finally become an artist again. He taught still life and life studies in 1942 and was able to dive back into his modernist roots by teaching abstraction and figures in 1943. He was able to exhibit his art at the Visual Education Museum for all to see and appreciate. His work from the incarceration years seemed prolific. He held on to these pieces throughout his life and Miyoko eventually donated them to the Manzanar National Historic Site Museum collection. Despite his love of modernism and abstraction, these are not abstract. They are insights into life at Manzanar through Isamu's eyes. Just like with his decision to, quote, volunteer to come to Manzanar early, Isamu never discussed his decision to return to Japan. Shizue told her daughters that Isamu made her answer no to the loyalty questionnaire in February 1943. They would be transferred to Tule Lake in February 1944. Tule Lake was difficult for Miyoko with the regimentation at Japanese school number eight, but Osamu continued his artwork and teaching. Shizue renounced her citizenship and the family expatriated to Japan in December 1945. The family will never know what Osamu expected, but they arrived to a war-torn Hiroshima, still reeling from the atomic bomb dropped by the U.S. on the city four months or earlier. They had to make ends meet. They scrapped together a living by farming, but the artist never gave up his art. Isamu taught to art to occupation forces and created modernist pieces that remain with the family. Miyoko returned to the U.S. to attend Bible school in 1952. Isamu passed away in 1953 in Japan. In 1960, Keiko and Shizue were able to return to the U.S., but when Keiko checked back in with the Hollywood Congregational Church, she found that Reverend Alan Hunter had died, and no one knew the whereabouts of the items the Morimoto's had stored there. Among those items were Charles Osama Morimoto's pre-war works. They were lost to time. They were lost to the silence and to the scattering created by the incarceration. In the spring of 2021, staff at Manzanar were contacted by a person from Indiana in possession of a painting. He had attempted unsuccessfully to sell it on the internet, so decided to donate it instead. It was a still life painting. On the back was the inscription, Charles I. Morimoto, 1940. The donor said he had purchased it from someone who bought it at a Florida yard sale. We don't know how or when it got to Florida, but the Morimoto family had not known it for nearly 80 years. The painting had returned home. The Morimoto family had gained a small connection to their patriarch and their lives before the incarceration. Charles Isamu Morimoto didn't explain the reasons for the difficult decisions he made during the incarceration. So many of his generation remain silent for so many different reasons, but he did create his artwork, which remains to tell his story. We can learn what he saw and maybe a little of what he thought through his pencil, pen, and brush. There were so many connections lost and rifts torn into the fabric of history by the U.S. government's actions but the family now has one piece of Charles Isamu's art, his lifelong passion, to tie them again to their pre-war past. Thank you for joining us for this Curator's Corner. You can learn more about Manzanar National Historic Site through our website, our Facebook and Instagram accounts, and our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please contact me, Sarah Bone, via email. It has been an honor to participate in Tadaima. Stay safe and thank you.